Hello everybody, welcome back to another Dave's Bake and Take video. So today we're making pretzels, okay? So so pretzels are actually kind of easy and hard at the same time. You just have to know what you're doing. So basically, I mean, yeah, it's pretty easy. So, well, that's because I got a new camera and got some better lighting and um, yeah. So let's get started. So uh, first what we're gonna do is, so we're gonna have to combine yeast and water. So. Basically, you want to have warm water, and basically what the yeast and wa warm water are going to do is going to make like a, kind of like a, you know, like chocolate, I, my chocolate chip cookies, I put baking soda, so you know, the baking soda helps it like kind of form up a bit. That's basically what the yeast does, and it helps the, um, the, uh, the dough to like kind of rise a bit more when you're baking them, so it's more delicious and fluffy and good. <laughs> One and a half cups of warm water. Okay, so we're gonna put that in, like that, perfect. Now we're gonna add in our uh, one packet of dry yeast, or what I'm gonna use is a container because I don't have a packet, but basically one packet of dry yeast or um, two and one-fourth of a teaspoon of this. So I'm gonna put in the amount okay and then one four teaspoon like that so now we're gonna let that sit there for about five minutes so yeah so well our yeast has been sitting there for about five minutes sorry this camera's a little janky i can't get it to where you see the bowl let's see uh so what our next ingredient is is um some salt so how much salt you guys say about a tablespoon of salt i know that sounds like a lot it's a lot but hey just gotta trust the process and then we'll get pretzels eventually okay for now we're just making the basis of our dough okay so i'm gonna put in one teaspoon of salt in here like that perfect okay gonna get my whisk stir that in with our yeast Next up, we're gonna add in a tablespoon of sugar. Now, we're not gonna put in a lot of sugar because it's basically just a regular um, pretzel. Like, if you've ever had a pretzel before, then you know that they're not really that sugary. So, put that in there, perfect. Sugar ready. Um, so, next ingredient is, we're gonna mix this up. First off, not next ingredient, but. So, what we're gonna do now, this is where the fun part is. We get in it. We get to add in a whole lot of flour. Well, it's not really fun for. Well, I guess it's gonna be fun for you guys to watch, but not for me. So, stir that up a bit. Okay. So now, we're gonna put in <laughs> four cups and a half. Okay. So you're gonna do four of these and then one of these. So, see that's. Oh, well, you can't really see. But this is one half of a cup, and then this is one full cup. And you're gonna do four of these and then one of these. Okay. Put my big old thing of flour over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that perfect. That's one. That's two. That's three, and that's about four. I say okay. Now we're gonna add our half of these. Now we're just gonna stir this up. It's gonna mix in with our um, water, our other stuff. It's gonna make a, f a dough kind of substance. So we're just gonna. Mix this up. I wish I could show you guys what I'm doing, but again, my camera isn't really working that well, so I can't really turn it down a bit. Okay, like that. Stirring it up right now. Okay, you're gonna have to go with the hands because the mixer is taking a long time to mix it up. And sometimes using your hands is better because you can get all the flour on the side and you know, 
uh, just get it all together when you mean it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. So, we're gonna add, we're gonna mix up all our flour together. Okay, like that. I'm gonna go like this. It's starting to form a dough substance, you know. If you're doing this along with me, it start, should form a dough substance, kind of. It's gonna be still a little bit floury, but you know, you should be fine. Just mixing it up. Okay, Brian, cut this, cut this, and then um, cut it until I, you know, show them the final thing once I get done mixing. So. I'm still gonna mix, I'll tell you when I get done mixing it because you can't really see anything. Okay, so next up what we're gonna add in is two tablespoons of oil. Okay, so I got my oil, so now we're gonna add in two tablespoons of this. Two tablespoons of any oil you got. Preferably, uh, I would use grapeseed oil or grapeseed oil or vegetable oil. Those are two of the best ones you could use. Okay, so just gonna mix this up. So we got that done already. So we got our dough here. So this is what a homemade pretzel dough looks like. So it's not gonna be all fancy because, well, I'm Davis Bacon Take and we don't do things professional here. We do, well, we do professional kind of, but you know what I mean. So we got our dough. So now what we have to do is we have to, hold on, my recipe just shut off. Okay, all right. So now what we have to do is we're going to, so what we're gonna do is we're going to take our dough right here, right there. We're gonna take it, uh, put it, I'm gonna put this in my measuring cup because what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put um, some oil inside of the uh, bowl so, and then we're just gonna let that rest for about an hour, okay? So I'm gonna take my oil, put that in there. Okay, that's probably too much oil. We're just gonna smother it around, you know. Put that right there. I know it doesn't look too appealing right now, but trust me, the final product will probably look good, hopefully. So, and continue to do that. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna put your flour, your dough mixture back into your pan, your tray, and then what we're gonna do next we got our dough in here now, so I'm gonna go get some plastic wrap and I'll be right back, cover this, and then let it rest. Okay, I got my plastic wrap, and now I'm gonna put it on top of my bowl. Just pulling that up a bit. You wanna be seeing that? Okay, plastic wrap goes on like that. And I wanna cut this a bit. I'm gonna just make sure it's fully gets covered. You don't want any flies or any bugs getting in it because you don't want um, some buggy pretzels. I don't think you do. Unless you want to. I mean, extra protein, right? <laughs> I guess so. Okay, so we're going to do that. Now we got it fully covered. I'm going to go put this. I'm going to go put this over here on the counter right here. See, like that. So now we are going to, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait for about an hour and then wait for that to just, um, to just rest for about an hour. You're gonna let your dough rest for about an hour and then, um, yeah, I'll reveal the next step to you when we get done there. So uh, yeah, I'll see you once that hour is over. Okay guys, so it's been about, about, about an hour, so. Our dough is done chilling off. I mean, not chilling off, but you know, just resting. It's over here on the side. Got that egg grow a little bit, so. It's, it should be like a fluffy kind of um, airy, um, like texture to it. So, I got a pot of water, a pot of water over there boiling about. So, to make, in order to make sure you have it boiling, here, let me take a tour. So, it should have bubbles in it. This one doesn't right now because it's still not ready yet. But uh, let me put the flame a little bit higher. Now, if you do not know how to operate a stove, then 
make sure you get a parent to help you or a guardian. So we're going to put in some baking soda inside of the water. So I'll go do that right now. You don't really need a specific amount of baking soda in there, just like about any type of one will be fine. So now I got this big old space here, okay? So you may be wondering, how are you gonna get that pencil shape, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our flat, our dough out, make sure your counters are clean. I know I clean mine right now, just for you guys. Let's see? Okay. What we're gonna do, we're gonna cut this in half, and then we're gonna, oh, let's make it a mess, okay? Right? <laughs> So we're gonna get a piece of dough about the palm, the palm of my hand, which basically be about probably about a cup of dough. Uh, uh, you don't have to measure it. Okay, so you're gonna what you're gonna do is you're gonna go like this, gonna start to do this, and just spread it out of it. Make sure it doesn't fall apart on you. And you do not want to put any flour down, okay? I repeat, do not put any flour down because if you put flour down, then it, it would just won't turn out good. It won't um, turn out into like a pretzel shape, okay? So you want to make sure no flour put down. Just rolling this up. You just put this back in your bowl and you don't need to have that out right now. I'm just gonna roll this out. Okay, so guys, I got they're all fixed right now. So now, basically what we have to do is, so you're gonna wanna take this, okay, you're gonna go like that. Then you're gonna go cross them a bit. Wait, I'm not gonna do this wrong. It's kinda hard to do like this, okay. So you're gonna go like this, put one down onto like that part right there that bottom part, press that down, and then you're gonna go like this. The same thing with the other part right there, just gonna like make it wider right there. So press that down. So now, what you do now, so you got like a kind of a pretzel shape. I wanna press that down even more so it just stays there a bit more. You can take a little bit of your dough, just like kinda help it to stay down a bit. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna preheat our oven to uh, 450. Okay, so now we preheat our oven for 450 degrees. So now we're just gonna get this. Okay, so you wanna make sure your water's already fully getting started to boil. So that plate right here. I'm gonna get a plate, we're gonna put our little pretzel on it. Let me bring you guys with me. Uh, transition, um, you're gonna be over there in three, two, one. We're back over here, so transition time. So we're back over here guys, and now I'm gonna get my plate from over here. Okay, we got it. We got my pretzel looking shape, kinda. Your pretzel doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, yeah. Uh, so don't put a paper plate right next to a fire flame. That's kind of a no-brainer, but say, don't do that because you'll start a fire and you get in trouble. So we we'll put our pretzel inside of the boiling water for about 30 seconds on each side. Just wait for it. To get 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And after those 30 seconds, it should start to float up to your surface. So then what you're going to do, you're going to do a little flip a uh, You're going to do a little, uh, you're going to do a little, uh, you're going to do a little flip a like that. Perfect. Put it on there. Okay. 
So now while we wait for that turn, we're gonna get a a pan. Okay, a cooking pan, a cooking sheet, whatever you wanna call it. Let's save that for that. And then we're gonna put this on our plate. Or no, we're just gonna put it straight on our cookie tray. So then you know we just go like that. Put it right there. Perfect. So now we got our first pestle done, and then you're gonna want to repeat that step until you run out of dough. So, yeah. So make sure you cook the pretzel in the boiling water for 30 minutes, I mean 30 seconds on each side, and then you're gonna put it, put it on a cookie tray, put it in the oven for about 15 minutes. And you wanna do that with um, all your dough. We got our pretzel out of the oven, so our next step is to just enjoy them. <laughs> okay guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button down below, and to make sure you like the video, and so you get notified each time you get we upload a video or I upload a video. So um, yeah, without any further ado, um, signing off, guys. Well, bye bye.